Hello, me lords and ladies. Welcome to Eat of the Extravagant Radio. Today's topic, Game of Thrones. The final season. And what the fuck's going on? And what is George R. R. Martin's real thoughts on the matter? We'll be right back after this with DJ Booyaka. <laughs> Welcome to uh, E to the Extravagant Radio. I'm your fans of Juggalo host, DJ Booyaka. And today, well, we're going to be talking about Game of Thrones, final season coming up. You know, it's already come up and people have seen it. They're very upset with what has been occurring. As I said, what was going to happen. If you listen to my last show, here's what happened, and now I have proof, man. If we can all get our heads together, connect the dots, let's do this together. Here is people are, why is this happening? Why? Because, because there's a point to be made here, ladies and gentlemen. There's a point to be made here. Now, follow along with me. Soon I'm going to put up the video so y'all won't think that I'm dumb. But there is a, a, a how do you say, an interview with. George R. R. Martin, okay, and b- talking with him, the ending of the Game of Thrones series. Now, here's what I gotta say. If you remember me talking last time on my big rant, I said, you know what's happening here? George is stalling. That's what he's doing. I'm finishing the book. I said, and also, he's, it, it, it could be that, I said, or it's that, you know, you know, you can't force art, right? You know what I'm saying? You can't force But at the same time, it's like, why rush anything? Let them finish it. Let's see what they do with it. Right, right, George. <laughs> and then when they fuck it up, that means you have your book. That means you're making money off the movie. And then to really get the real ending, they have to read the book. Checkmate, HBO. <laughs> yes. Jeez. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, things might not go as planned, George. HBO might have a response. Everybody will be glad to come back and do another season. That's right, HBO is going to do a very special, real George R. R. Martin Game of Thrones Real Edition. All the actors will gladly come back. They will take their time on this one because you know they're gonna. They know how much money that'll suck back in. And then you know what? Checkmate on you, George R. Oh, but wait a minute. Wait a minute, touche, sir. That means after the book is out and you're making already money off this crap ending, that they're only gonna make more money for retiring while you're while they're doing their movie. You tell them take their time, make the movie, because now the ending's there. They don't have any time pressure. Just. Make the series as good and as long as you want it and just as long as it goes with the book. And since, you know, them two have felt the pressure of the internet, they're going to do right (laughs) by the book this time. (laughs) That's all I wanted to say. I'll show you the interview right here at the end. I'll I'll post it up here so y'all can see it. I just thought that was very hilarious. Touche. That means checkmate twice on HBO. That's right, HBO. And if you're very smart, you're going to actually do that. You're actually going to uh, 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 make a remake. The cast wants to get together back anyway. They all miss each other. You you saw the, oh, you know, it's like, you know, when we see each other, it's like, you know, big, well, there's only like two people that don't like each other. That's, that's the d- demon woman in this whole series. 
and the cool dude. He, and apparently they used to date, and there's some weird stuff going on. I'm not gonna get into it all. I might answer it. I'm talk about the series, not their freaking personal life. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? The dude said in the freaking video anyway. You know, he was like, you know what? I'm gonna go get something to eat or drink something like that. I remember it was in the last season, but this is this season, and man, this just go. This is this just goes to show you that you need. What happens when you don't have? the original you know what i'm saying you can't you can't beat the original you could try you could try that's what i say people could try taking people's ideas when it's not finished and they could try running off but, but, but take your time people take your time with the original ideas that's right george you're already laughing ain't you you're already laughing you're a little you're like go ahead you should hear i'm you're not gonna you should i'm gonna show you the interview don't thank me don't think just listen to me he th that was a very smart move man holding off just you know he might have he said you know just because you know it's not what you want you'll see it's, he didn't say exactly like that i, I don't want to i don't want to slaughter how he said anything i'm just saying put the pieces together read between the lines you know what george is is touche sir double check mate on and i say double because the first game was over then you know what i'm saying HBO will be HBO will be like the checkmate by okay now we can make some more money because now we're going to make a remake you know what I mean of an ending you know what I mean the real George R R Martin ending and then you can send you got two different DVDs the HBO ending and then you got the, for the people who like that and then you got the real George R R Martin ending and then you're gonna have your little fans of no but the real you know I guess right yeah I guess that's what y'all like is controversy ah. <laughs> This is crazy. Whatever. It's all fucked up. Woo! I give props to George R. R. Martin. Blah. George R. R. Martin. Mad props to you. Uh, so, yeah. Another positive thing about this whole thing is <laughs> he's making you have to read a book. Ah! Ah! I like it. <laughs> That's right. Or, at the very least, listen to it and use at least your imagination. Ah, yeah, because you know you're all going to use your audios and listen to it in your car, so, uh, yeah. Oh, there you go, George. There's another little revenue right there. Don't forget, if you feel like it and you ain't got nothing else to do, you can just always read your books in audio. <laughs> I'm out of here, man. All I'm saying is that stuff, I'm not even going to get into the series. You got plenty of people talking about it, man. We already know. Come on, man. I think Aya Stark is awesome. I do. But at the same time, Jon Snow. I ain't hating on I. I Stark. I Stark is awesome. I've said it in the beginning. She, sword, needle, everything, awesome. She's a freaking assassin. I think it's. They just could have done that, man. Ooh. Even using Aya, they could have used Jon and Aya together. Like man, like Jon could have been surprised. Like damn, girl, I didn't know you could do this shit. <laughs> Like, like, you know, all of them are like, like, he's about to do his thing. She could have been right through the army, just like stabbing him. <laughs> Puts a face on of one of the fucking cold people. He doesn't even know it. He's like, something's wrong. And then they have a big fight while I is actually looking like she's actually one of the, you know, night ice, whatever. I, I, white walkers. Yeah, but fuck, whatever. You know what I mean? Then people, she's actually she got what happened. You know what I'm She can transform and shit, right? She puts it on the face and then, so she actually takes one out and then she turns into kind of one, but not really one, but she looks like one and he's like, something strange here. And then they start fighting. He's like, traitor or whatever, but he doesn't say traitor because the Night King doesn't say shit. He just smiles a little bit. Big ass battle going down, a little bit of slow-mo. You know, something like, I don't know, um, Spartacus yeah, time to get some battles like oh, <laughs> Ching Blades flying up there. You know he's so good. The Night King is so good as a fighter, so fast and <laughs> so fast and using his ice stuff that that it takes Aya and and Jon Snow together to come and destroy this 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 this, this phenomenon of a beast. I could go on. It doesn't matter. Anyway, whatever. George is going to do it the way he wants to do it. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be epic. And ain't nobody... Enjoy your audio. We'll read the book. And ah, ha, 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 I called it... It was a perfect 
move. It was a smart thing to do. Wait. Let them see what they do. That It's perfect. You can even hear what the audience has. Do, do, do the audience like it? I didn't think they would. I knew I was on the right track. <laughs> Just in case I wasn't. Woo! <laughs> Good job, I'm out. This is E to the Extravagant Radio. Game of Thrones, the book and the beginning of the series that followed from the book rocks. Afterwards, when they had nothing to read off of, what the fuck? As promised, here's the video. Well, certainly there's a huge amount of speculation as to how the series might end. I mean, do you troll these websites just keeping an eye on whether or not that your best kept secrets have, have made their way <laughs> into the public domain? I mean, would you change your plot lines if you discovered them that uh, someone somewhere had guessed as to your conclusion? You know, I, I would not. Um, I did look at some of the websites and read the discussions going on and the people talking about theories and uh, putting forward guesses as to where books was going and what some of the secrets that I was hinting at were. And many of the theories were completely off base and wrong, but some people got it right. And that's when I really wrestled with the issue in like 1999 and 2000, 2001. Okay, these people have figured out something, should I now change it? And I decided that way lay disaster, you know. I'd, I'd laid in clues and things that pointed to a particular thing. And if I now changed it because one person in a thousand had figured it out, uh, the new solution would not be satisfactory uh, because the clues point in another way. It would, be, it would be a cheat in a sense. But what do you do then? Do you change it and come up with something goofy and outlandish that you haven't led the, you haven't done the, the foreshadowing for, that you haven't laid the foundation for just in order to surprise people? I mean, sure, I could have like aliens come down and that would certainly <laughs> surprise the hell out of everybody. No one is predicting that, but... Uh, <laughs> It would ruin the series. And I, th I think some writers do that. And I think that's always mm. a mistake. Yeah. You know, if you've planned your book that the butler did it, and then you read an internet, someone has figured out that the butler did it, and you suddenly change in midstream, and it was the chambermaid who did it, mm. then you screw up the whole book because you get these, this foreshadowing early on, and you've got these little clues you planted. Now they're dead ends, and you have to introduce other clues, and you're retconning. It's a mess. We hope to kind of avoid the expected, and Jon Snow has always been the hero, the one who's been the savior, but it just didn't seem right to us for this, for this moment. The, the, show, um, the show is the show, and the books are the books. Uh, there are places where the two are going to diverge, and uh, they, they are going to diverge. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, once again, go back and make the chambermaid do it instead of mm. the butler did it because because of something that David and Dan did in the show. And if and if there are indeed at the end there are differences, well, so be it.